Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gaming with Igun and welcome to Surviving Mars. As you can see, I'm starting a new game for this series. The mission sponsor is Europe, because I am from Belgium, Europe. I'm gonna go with a rocket scientist, because we... Oh, we actually start with three, let's see. I think Europe... Yeah, Europe normally starts with two rockets. And because of the rocket scientist, I start with the extra one. And we have shuttles straight away. It's gonna be super handy. Company logo and a random mystery. As our starting buildings, we start with one drone hub, one moisture evaporator, and one fuel refinery. Um, I think that's fine. We also have one RC Explorer, and that's it. No RC Rover. Alright. Six drones, and a lot of building supplies. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll just go. Oh, what's the name of our thingy? Sir... Oko? Sirocco? Eh. Um... We're gonna call this... Yeah, what are we gonna call this? Hmm... Mars... Number... One. Because we are going to Mars. If you have a better name than uh, I do, please put it in the comments down below. And maybe I'll change the name later on. So, what starting locations do we have? I'm gonna try and look for a 200% difficulty. As we don't want this one to be too easy. This one is good. 230% difficulty. Doesn't have a lot of concrete, but does have a lot of metals and water. Alright, we'll go with this one. Sentry Alpha. Let's go. Thank you. Wow, this looks very similar to my other map, which I'm playing on on the, the live stream. Although this center, lower area, uh, does seem to be a bit uh, bigger. So we have scanned this area, but I don't think I'm gonna go in this area first. I think I'm gonna send it. Let's see. Another scan that found. one. Okay, concrete here. And then we'll do this one as well. Okay. So this did not reveal a lot. We have this concrete patch of 400 and then this one of 1300. So we'll, we'll just launch our, our land, our rocket better, somewhat in this vicinity. And there he goes. I did install one mod, which is the zoom out and zoom in mod. Uh, I don't remember the name. If, uh, if you want it, well, it's probably still the, one of the more, most popular, so just go to the workshop and look for it uh if you can't find it just put it down in the comments below and i'll uh i'll link it for you um first things first i'm gonna disable the hints because we start the game to display the selected language i haven't selected the language rc explorer you can start analyzing that straight away and we are gonna, let's see, start with building a extractor. Hmm, how are we gonna do this though? Yeah, right there. Should be fine. And we'll start with a, actually, let's skip the universal one. We'll grab a load of storage spaces. Because this is also going to be our hub. And the food one as well, although we won't be needing that anytime soon. Ooh. 
research. That might be interesting. Autonomous sensors. All right, let's do that one first because that's a super handy tech. New building farm. What reclamation? Fuel compression. Commission protocol. Transport optimization. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones and the maximum number of drones is increased by 80. This is also going to be handy. Probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Hmm, interesting. And increased research provided by sponsor by 100. And then this is improving uh, the trace of our engineers and geologists. So Earth Martian initiative. Followed by the drone hub thingy. Better probes. And then the next one will be... Uh, probably one of the new ones. So these guys are starting to unload the rocket. Anomaly analyzed. Milestone achieved. Good. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. And we have to look at all the anomalies we find. So you found me, subsurface heating, and advanced Martian en engines. Rocket and shuttles require less fuel. Hello, add that. Because that's gonna be super handy. And of course, we also gonna want to start scanning around our area here. All right, this thing's done and obviously it will need power. And the best way to do power at the start will be solar panels. And wind turbines going to help us at night, but we don't want to do a lot of these. But one won't hurt the thing. But let's do like two solar panels and one windmill. Wind turbine, better. Oh yeah, they're grabbing the metal from here. little guys do your job research complete anomaly analyzed all right so you're done analyzing that meanwhile make your way back to the cable so you can charge the moment we have the power for it you need concrete to be built so start grabbing concrete The effect this thing makes is cool though. It's simple, but cool nonetheless. You charged all the way already, nice. Alright, let's grab a battery, which we'll place at the end here. How many polymer do we have? 14. And this costs two to make. So we'll just put two there. Then we'll need a fuel refinery to produce fuel from water. Which means we will need a moisture evaporator. And those we are just simply gonna put 
basically together. And now we'll see how much power this takes, 5, and this produces 7.4, so we are still getting more power. No, we're not. Oh, because of the moisture evaporator, of course. We can, of course, also turn them off at night, but I don't think we need to just yet. Once our batteries start filling up during the day, then this will be able to run all night. How much does this produce? Just one and this takes one as well. Oh yeah. We'll make you low priority. And next we probably gonna want... Well, actually, let's see. How is our research going? Oh, we are done with our uh, sensor tower thingies here. So that's good. Extractor upgrade. Increases production by 25%, but also increases power consumption. Uh, interesting if we have extractors, which we don't, so... Not super interesting yet. But that means our sensors are done. So we'll place one right at the edge of our drone command range. And we'll probably... So that's one down here. But I suppose that's going to cover the whole area. At least for now. Sector scanned. So now we have a 300% bonus on most of this area. Not over here though, so... Actually, not at all. We'll cancel those. So we have 22 stored power because of uh, the power we get at night. So we're probably going to want to build a drone hub here. It's blocked by this, but that allocation is free. Because I'm not sure if drones can recharge from this thing. Of course we'll know soon. Oh no, this one's dead. So no, they cannot recharge. But they can recharge from the drone hub. Uh, wait, why are you guys not doing that? There we go. Whoops, wrong bet. So now I'm transferring all drones to the drone hub. Actually, I might have made a mistake. I did, okay. Well, I, I lost through, uh, two free drones, Sector so that's scan. not great, but hey, not the end of the world either. <laughs> 